Hello everyone and welcome back to Horse Haven here in Hearthstone Village and we are checking in on all of our horses, gathering up all of that wonderful feed and hopefully managing to breed up some very rare horses today and you guys probably already know the really amazing horse that I am about to show you guys and I am so excited and unfortunately it is not yet the birth of our Aquarius 2 horse and yes there is indeed a jellyfish on the rump of this horse. A lot of you guys are like Siri that's a water pitcher. Yes there is is a water pitcher right here but if you look inside of it there's a jellyfish which I think is so cool and I do want to try to get the Aquarius 2 and that beautiful headgear but it is going to be a little bit tricky to breed her and we did not have any luck last time I tried to breed off camera with our handsome American paint Bobby and the beautiful Aki that we found over on someone else's ranch so we're gonna go ahead and do that in just a second oh and I also need to take care of this little American paint oh she's so cute this is Angel and this Angel is a American paint as well and I want to keep her around so that even after we are done trying to breed for the Aquarius we can try to get a higher tier American paint. We only have tier one and I would love to fill out our horsepedia so that we could brag about having uh, the higher tier like tier three. Look at that beautiful tier three American paint. I would love to be able to have that one too. All right, so, ah, oh yay, yeah, she's hungry again. First things first, I think we're gonna go ahead and just jump into it with all hooves on deck and try to breed up for the Aquarius too. Right now, I only have Bobby available to be able to try out the specialty breeding that you need to do to get the Constellation Horse, but I really hope we can pull it off because the Constellation Horse has the absolutely gorgeous artifact. I love collecting those artifacts. So we're gonna see if we can find, um, oh, and she's hungry again, oh, I just love Love feeding these poles they're just so cute but we're gonna see if we can manage to find the luck in us to have another constellation horse I haven't been able to breed up all of them and they're only available for like a very very limited time once a year and then they're not available the next year um as easily you can breed them up that month like if we don't have an Aquarius from last year we could breed an Aquarius up this month as long as we knew what the breeding was let me see cuz I'm pretty sure if you pop over here, then you have year one's horses and we did have an Aquarius. Do I have, do I just have like, I think I have a tier three Aquarius set. I do. Oh my gosh, look at this. Yay. We just got an award for a horse collection. 90 diamonds. I'll take 90 diamonds just falling from the sky like that. That was awesome. I totally wasn't expecting that. And now we're going to get another award when we have four of the tier three, uh, tier three constellation year one horses. That's a mouthful to say for sure. And we don't really have too many. I I have three Aquariuses somewhere right now. I bet they're all inside of my uh, stables. And then if we come over here, you can see, oh my gosh, they're so beautiful. You can see how they've got the tier one, year two constellation horses, also a mouthful, hanging out over here. And we're trying to go for this Aquarius. The Capricorn was really beautiful. The Scorpio was really beautiful. And the Libra was really beautiful. I'm glad we at least got the Virgo and the Sagittarius, but man, I really do love blue. And so I really hope we can get this Aquarius. So let's go ahead and try to breed for it. All right, we're gonna head over to our friend's ranch. We already found that Kirsten, who is one of the highest ranked people that we possibly know, and who also has, um, oh my gosh she's got so many horses and she I just can't believe she's a level 62 I didn't even know the levels go up that high but she does have the horses available for breeding so let's go see if we can manage to get lucky and okay this is all the fantasy horses she has also very awesome and also where we managed to get the uh, genetics for our fantasy horse oh she's got a whole bunch of crops ready let's go ahead and help her out with these crops yay carrots all right lots of carrots lots of soybeans Oh my goodness, there's so many things. Look at all of this food. It's just free food for helping out on somebody else's farm. That's so cool. There we go. Oh my goodness. Oh, and a diamond. That's so cool. It's like we went over and just got a free diamond for helping out. All right, so I think hers is actually at the UK ranch. And I really am excited to see how there's room for another. Um, oh no, did she take it out? <laughs> oh no. I may have lost my opportunity. Okay, I've got to zip around in a frantic little circle looking for where it went. Because she had that horse out. Not here. Uh-oh, you guys. I may have lost my ability to breed for an Aquarius year two. A constellation horse. Oh, that would be so sad. Right here? No, that's a thoroughbred. 
Right here? Oh no, it did move. Okay, we're gonna have to like emergency search amongst our friends. Um, Holy Press Star is another person who's at really high level. I just check out the high levels first because they tend to be jumping right on top of those constellation horses. And let's see if we can find the horse we're looking for. Not here, but oh my goodness, I am really helping people out with their crops today. Don't mind me. Just gonna, just gonna grow these really quickly. There we go. All right, lots of carrots. I am just like carrying home armfuls and bushels of carrots today. That's pretty awesome. Um, and unfortunately, not the horses we're looking for, but this is a beautiful onyx unicorn. Highly approved, gorgeous unicorns hanging out on this farm or this ranch. And let's see, let's pop over to the French ranch. So now we're actually desperately searching once more for the horse that we need to breed for the Aquarius. This is what I get for not breeding up all of the specific breeds and having at least one tucked away. Nope, not over here either. You guys, I may have to wait and I may have to go on this long, painful search once more. Yep, not there either. Um, let's try, hmm, Kirshen, uh, Karsten. Let's go, let's go hang out at Karsten's place and see what Karsten has. We'll give it one or two good searches more and if we still can't find the horse we're looking for not here either all right and we'll pop over here if we still can't find the horse we're looking for then i'm just gonna have to wait a little while and i am accepting friends on the channel facebook uh again so that we can be friends in horse haven you guys the requirements to be friends in horse haven are that we both must be playing on an android device so unfortunately if you're playing on an ipad or iphone it just doesn't mesh together oh dang it no horse over here either okay all right, desperately search. Woo, uh, whoa, I'm spinning, spinning, spinning. We'll go hang out at Julia's place and see if Julia has it. But we both need to be playing on an Android device and then we both need to be friends on the Facebook page that the channel has. And I think it's linked in the Horsehaven uh, episode video descriptions. I'll try to tuck it in there just in case it isn't. But once we are both friends on Facebook, then we can search for each other inside of the Horsehaven app. And that is how you become friends on Horsehaven. I'm not sure if I've reached like max number of friends, so I'll have to figure that out. And if it takes me a while to friend people on Facebook, that's because Facebook only likes you to friend a certain number of people a day and if you go past that then they're like you don't seem to be using Facebook properly if you keep it up at this pace we're going to ban you and I was really alarmed the first time that happened I, I couldn't believe they like I was like there's just so many people who've sent friend requests please don't ban me so it was very it was very surprising all right let's go visit Katie this will be the last one I visit until we're just gonna have to sit and try to breed up and Aki ourselves beautiful adorable horses unfortunately not the ones we're looking for all right so let's see and we'll pop over to the english ranch and it's it's kind of fun going on this big horse search but it's also very disheartening <laughs> we were right there i had the horse we needed right there and then i just wasn't able to get the the baby born but that's okay beautiful halflinger i love those spotty butts they're just so cute and at least we do have the positivity of being able to show off our very first unicorn over at the German ranch after this. Beautiful horses once more, but unfortunately not the ones we're looking for. So I'm going to have to pop back to the Montana ranch and we're going to have to reassess. How are we going to have our Aquarius full? My plans have been foiled. This is why you should make sure you have the full breed, like the, the breeds you need yourself. Okay, so... We're gonna back up a little bit. I don't have the techie, I need it. I, I don't even think I have a Lipsy. I don't even think I have an Oldenburg. So we may be missing out on the Aquarius, but we're not gonna give up, you guys. So let's see, to get a Lipsy, what do we need? Let's check that out. We're going to we're gonna have to go all the way down to the basics again. All right, let's see. We need a Jutland and a Halflinger, I, and an Australian Brumby or a Dolhurst, or a Jutland and a Dolhurst, and I happen to think that we have all of those handsome horses within our stables, so let me check that out. Um, there we go, that's cured. Uh, let's see, 
and that's Fredericksburg, and this is a Jutland. Yes, all right. So here's Oak, our Jutland, and we actually have a Dolhurst right here. Hero or Dolhurst, and look at this, Grace. Grace is right here, you guys. Huzzah! We're going to swap Oak, and we're going to swap um our very handsome constellation Year Two Sagittarius. Huh, that's such a mouthful to say. And we're gonna go ahead and try to breed these two up. So all right, you guys. Hopefully we can get Ellipsy out of this. I mean that's what they said, right? Dolhurst and a Jutland should hopefully have a I, they look really they look really powerful to end up being the ones that have ellipsy like really I kind of want to triple check that because well yep I mean but they're like so strong jawed I wouldn't take those two really powerful looking parents and expect something like a lippy out of it but let's go ahead and try out all right fingers crossed hooves crossed let's see if this happens oak and grace Let's go ahead and see what your baby is going to be. Breeding event reward. All right, a tier one. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Let's go ahead and increase our chance on that because I'm a little nervous about this. This is going to be like stage one of our operations. No! And we have, why is the Dolhurst chain so strong? We had this problem on the last, const or the last constellation horse. We just ended up with so many Dolhurst. So we're going to have a Dolhurst baby. Congratulations. You're going to be a like grandfather hero. I hope you're proud. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. We'll, we'll come back and I will try breeding up for a lippy next time. And I'll show you guys if I have any luck. So back all the way to square one, stage one, when it comes to trying to breed for the Aquarius. But that's part of the fun, the challenge of trying to get there with all of our different horses. Uh, so now that we have spent time doing that today, my friends, I'm going to go ahead and put down some fresh farm goods for us to collect later. All right, plenty of those, plenty of these. A few carrots, or a few carrots, a few bits of corn here, a few bits of corn there. We'll collect up whatever that is, and this one. And we'll get some cherry feeds up and going. And let's check in. If I get some fruit feed and some turnips, we can make our good friend, the tracker, really, really happy. The beautiful secret island is not yet open, but that's okay. We're going to come over and we're going to spend the rest of the day actually in the German ranch because I want to show you guys our awesome unicorn foal. I'm so excited that we have our little baby unicorn foal. Finally, somebody to break up the fact we have so many of these amber uh, amber fairy horses all over the place. So let's see, is this the amber fairy horse we can? That's amber, or the amber fairy horse. And then this one is snow. So this is snow. And we're actually gonna go ahead and we are going to sell snow. Um, we'll give her one last good feeding. And then she can go and frolic in some sort of magical field elsewhere. And we're gonna make room for the little baby hiding inside of the breeding house. Yes, we're gonna go ahead and sell snow. And you guys, I would like to welcome our very first standard unicorn. So yes, just a plain Jane unicorn. In fact, I think I'm even gonna name her Jane because she's a plain Jane unicorn. So there's Jane the unicorn and she is so cute. Look how small she is. And she's got that little horn right where it belongs. So let's go ahead and feed her. There you go, sweetie. And we'll try to get her to grow up and maybe even get to breed her today, which would be very exciting to see what kind of fantasy horses she could possibly have. But now that we have two types of fantasy horses, we should hopefully be able to get lucky enough to breed up several more types. Uh, I think they're all kind of related to each other, especially once you get the breeding up and going. And we can check out the Horsepedia in just a second on that. Oh, she really loves cherry feed. That's perfect because we have tons of cherry feed in our German ranch. And I want to start transforming our German ranch into our fantasy horse ranch. At least until the uh, secret island opens up. If the secret island ends up being another ranch to send our magic horses to, then I, of course I'll send them there. But I just love the idea of unicorns and fairy horses frolicking in my German ranch out of all of the places that we have because there's so many crystals and little gnomes and mushrooms in our German ranch. There you go, little one. All right, so Jane is growing a mile a minute, which is really great. She actually wants to have some of the pumpkin feed too. Is that a... Oh, that's a corn. I thought for a second that it was like a banana hiding behind the pumpkin feed. And I was like, when have I had bananas? <laughs> We've never had bananas. What is this nonsense? Oh, look at her go. Oh my gosh. She's going to grow up. 
Jane! Dun dun dun! There we go, you guys! And now we have a standard unicorn. So plain Jane unicorn. But that's very exciting. And it means we can finally, finally... Oh, and actually, yeah, we can take her out here, get a good look at her from all angles. Uh, we could dress her up if we wanted to. But we can finally try breeding for some more exciting uh, fantasy horses than the ones that we've currently got. And I don't mean to say they aren't awesome. I mean, they're magical horses. But I just love trying to fill out the horsepedia. It's very exciting. All right, so now that that's done, let's go ahead and clean up. No! <laughs> Knight, you're awesome, but I'm trying to clean up the paddock. I'm not trying to feed you right now. Hang on, buddy. All right, we're going to go down the line, clean everything up. There's lots and lots of diamonds that people are apparently losing while they're riding my horses in our paddock. We're going to... Ooh, there's a lot of emeralds today to be collecting from the mines. And let's do that. And then we'll grab the cherries really fast so that we can make some cherry feed oh and then we also need to make some of because the horses have really wanted cherry feed lately and we also need to make some of that fruit feed because the trainer would like to have some so of course he would like some of my fresh delicious cherries and fresh delicious grapes turned into delicious fruit feed and we'll turn it into him in just a second i could have sworn i had another grape somewhere aha i knew i was missing a grape there we go all right and we'll gather whoa storage is full what what nonsense is this? All right, and we'll get the fruit feed up and going. There we go, couple fruit feed. And I wanna get, let's see, need more apples for that. So I'll get some cherry feed up and going to fill out the rest. There we go, all right. And so we're gonna check the tree house really quickly just to see if there's anything fun to be able to buy. Oh, that's a cute hat. That's a really cute hat. And if this was one of like the the horses we needed for breeding for the constellation horse, you can bet I would be buying it right now. Um, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna get that hat. I'm tempted by that hat, but I don't want to spend a hundred diamonds on that hat. What I want to spend diamonds on is actually upgrading the stables and doing those important things. So as soon as we get to uh, 1,800 diamonds, so that I have some extra diamonds to spend, because I always like to keep a thousand diamonds in savings. Keep your savings, you guys. You never know when the king in that castle might suddenly enact a unicorn tax or something like that after all. Uh, or there might be a special event that you really need a whole bunch of those diamonds for then we will upgrade the stable but I do want to start working on upgrading the stables um, more often too oh and thank you to the person who just hired me as a stable hand so let's go ahead and try up breeding we're gonna take a peek at the horsepedia for magic horses I love the idea that as the years have gone by we have like a bookshelf in our house that just has been growing and growing with the horsepedia like we have to upgrade the horsepedia horsepedia volume one horsepedia volume two then we have to have like the constellation horse horsepedia and then constellation horse year two horsepedia and now the magic horse horsepedia so we have the standard unicorn and we have the amber fairy horse and I have no idea how we're going to get to the amethyst fairy corn but I would love to try and that's with an onyx unicorn to get an onyx unicorn you need a standard unicorn and a sunlit unicorn to get a sunlit unicorn you need a standard unicorn and an onyx unicorn it's just a giant like circle they just kind of chase each other around in big circles so now we're just going to see what kind of random baby we might end up with with the two horses that we've gotten so far. So Goldenrod is going to come over here. Jane is going to come over here and we're going to breed the two together. And what do we get? We have a chance of having another Amber Fairy horse. We have a chance at having another standard unicorn and we have a chance at having a glimmering fairy horse. So that would be new. So we're going to go ahead and give that a good spin. And we're going to see what we end up with. And the glimmering one! So we're going to have a glimmering fairy horse born next time. And I may actually keep the name Poppy because that is adorable. So tons of little breeding projects to work on. Tons of things to do. Like going and getting those turnips ready. So I can take them to the Wrangler. The, and be able to get some more gemstones and diamonds from him. And a lot of projects going on. And I'm definitely keeping my eye very, very sharply and very, very curiously. Oh, and let's try breeding up for the Shire. Totally forgot that we were working on this little Shire specialty breeding program. Trying to get all tier 2 Shires. Tilly and Tommy. Alright, let's see if we get another tier 2 Shire. Female would be nice, so we can try to get our tier 3 Shires. Come on. Nope. Nope, just the usual. I'm just, I just have endless Shires being born in my UK ranch lately. Alright, just the usual. Oh, and then we also need to upgrade this paddock. <gasps> we have enough diamonds! Okay, we're gonna do it. 
I'm gonna spin the diamonds to upgrade it. There we go. And then I need 255 diamonds. That is much better. Now I feel more professional getting all of like the, the paddocks built and getting all of the stables upgraded. So that's really helping out. All right, I am getting into the swing of things again, you guys. I hope you're having a great time. We will start working on more projects in Horse Haven and keeping an eye out. I really wanna see when that mystery island opens up. I'm really, really looking forward to that. And let's get some nice, delicious uh, watermelon planted. That sounds, oh, and I need lots of turnips. I forgot I needed the turnips. <laughs> All right, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.